Hi, I'm Brian Maxwell. Many people know me as a success coach for the generation of change. And what I want to talk about today is the psychological aspect of selling. See, there are a lot of people that are involved in, in sales and they look at it as just a job. Now, you may have heard this before, but if not, I want to share with you what my definition of J-O-B stands for. J-O-B stands for just over broke. Okay, but sales is the highest paid profession in the world. Politicians, salespeople, um, doctors. Doctors are in sales because they're selling their medical expertise, they're selling their skill, and they're helping people feel better. No matter what industry, what profession you name, sales is involved in it because you're always selling yourself, uh, selling a, an idea, selling an emotion, or you're selling an actual product or service. So let's talk about how you can close more sales in today's new economy. Number one, people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. Okay, so the way you approach and interact with a person, mistake that most salespeople make is that they're more inwardly focused than outwardly focused. You know, they want to try to get to the person and want to hurry this thing up and get through it quick and don't want to waste any time. But the thing about the sales process is that you can never rush through the sales process. Sales is extremely simple when you take your time and you understand the fundamentals, the foundation of what it takes to build that type of rapport or that trust with that guest or with that potential customer or client. And to make it easy for them to make a smart, safe, money-saving buying decision to do business with you. So number one, in sales, the most important aspect when you're meeting a new potential client is the greeting. You get a 15 to 30 second window for these people to size you up and make a judgment call and they base it solely off your appearance. The way your face is looking, are you frowning and looking like somebody peed in your cereal that morning? Or are you smiling, seeming like you're genuinely happy that this person showed up for your establishment? Because you understand that they could have been anywhere else in the world, but at that moment, they're there with you. So the greeting is extremely important. How you introduce yourself, how you welcome them to your establishment. You see, when people go into a, let's say a dealership, for example, they walk into a dealership, anxiety is on high. They're excited about the potential new purchase, but they dread having to deal with that sleazy car salesman. And that's why I educate people on not being a car salesman. I've never been a car salesman. I was an automotive sales professional, and I never sold vehicles. I helped people buy them. But when a person comes in, their anxiety is on high. So depending on how the sales professional, how the salesman or salesperson approaches them, or if they ask two of the silliest questions in sales, silly question number one is, can I help you? That's silly. You were hired to assist any person that comes into your establishment looking for a product or service or just information. It's your responsibility. So to ask someone that's coming into your business, can I help you? And then they say no. Where do you go from there? You're done. Silly question number two is, how you doing? Well, in sales, the goal is to keep the person as positive minded as you possibly can and to plant seeds throughout the process and you water those seeds. Now, how do you get the information that you use to plant a seed? Through asking questions and listening with the intent to understand versus listening with the intent to reply. Too many sales people have diarrhea of the mouth. They're so eager to speak and say something that they don't give that guest or that potential client the opportunity to fully communicate what's going on in their mind. And even when you think they finished, just stop and be quiet. Watch what'll happen. What do you think will happen? You're right, they'll start talking. And the more they talk, the more information you have. See, in a selling process, selling situation, the guests, you should know this much about the guests, and they know that much about you. You know why? Because it's not about you. It's all about them. So how you approach and greet somebody. Now knowing that when somebody's going to a situation where they know they may be about to come out of some money, especially if it's a substantial amount of money, buying a vehicle or buying a home or buying some expensive jet skis or a boat or something like that, a big ticket item, you know that anxiety is on high. So your responsibility is to defuse that anxiety. And that all starts with the initial greeting by approaching them, greeting them with a smile on your face, a genuine smile, not a fake one and you're smiling wide ear to ear like you can swallow a banana sideways. No, it's just a genuine, like, oh, I'm happy that you're here, okay? So approaching them with a smile, greeting them, welcoming them 
to your establishment with a handshake, offering them your name. Welcome to ABC Business. My name is Brian, and you are? Once you get that information, okay, now you have it, using their name two to three times during that initial speaking period. A, it'll help you be able to retain it, and two, it is their name. Because people's minds tend to drift. And so by addressing them by name, makes it more personal. But also, if their mind has zoned out, when you use their name, it zeroes them back in.